Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about MongoDB. It's uh, a new, a newer database or technology. Recently in the last, yeah, I don't know, maybe five to ten years, JSON databases, document-based databases have been picking up momentum, and there's a lot of reasons for that. And uh, we're going to talk about why it's my database of choice, uh, some projects I've built in it in the past professionally and outside of work, and uh, we're going to dive into it. First off, I'd like to start by thanking our sponsor, MongoDB. It's always really cool when you have the opportunity to work with companies that you are a fan of or like you've used their products in the past. And so that's pretty cool um, because, you know, as a, as a smaller coding channel, it's always nice to, to get that experience. It's not something, you know, it's sort of unique. So I want to thank them for that. It's appreciated. So MongoDB, for those of you who aren't super familiar with... Um, the difference between like JSON based databases or document based and then you have relational. So relational databases are sort of the the old school and they both have their, their pros and cons, right? Um, MongoDB to me is uh, probably the the most common database taught today in terms of boot camps. The reason for it is it's part of that MERN or mean stack. It's full stack JavaScript really at the end of the day. And that's how the doc, the doc, those documents, essentially your data is sort of structured. It's structured like a JSON. It's very similar and it makes it really easy to use, really easy to query, um, makes being able to create RESTful APIs in it very easy. And um, you know, as you're using Node in the back end, you know, and, and Express typically or whatever, um, you know, a uh, Node framework that you prefer to use, there's typically other uh, packages you can use, such as Mongoose, which will make it even easier uh, to access the um, the documents. So I've used MongoDB in personal projects originally when I started and um, started sort of learning. Um, you know, I was, at that point, I was already a front end developer and I decided I wanted to build out those back end skills. And the natural transition for a, a front end dev who specializes in JavaScript at the time is like, um, you know, go in that mean or Mern stack. And so you're like, all right, cool, let's pick up MongoDB. And interesting thing about that is like freecodecamp.org, which is a online full stack JavaScript. That's what they teach. And so that sort of led me down that path. And um, having done SQL in the past, I absolutely fell in love with it. I really enjoyed it. And part of that was it felt like I was just doing JavaScript. That's really what it felt like. While SQL is its whole different thing, as relational databases, they have there whatever but in terms of being able to easily access my data it was fantastic and uh, very secure as well so they have a lot of um you know because because you're dealing with node it makes it very easy to install third-party dependencies that may handle your authentication like passport which is stuff that i've done with it as well so in terms of like little projects I've done, I've used it for authentication uh, of uh, web apps I've done in personal projects. I've used it uh, for like little projects that I'm learning, like voting applications, um, data analytics applications where I'm hitting third party APIs and I want to cache the data in the back end. Um, and then professionally, I've used it as well. So, although I am, uh, I wouldn't say I'm super proficient quite yet uh, in MongoDB. Um, I love the document model and it's it's made my life a lot easier. Um, the reason for it is it's it's very easy to modify. It's very easy to update and um, you know manage multiple documents at a time as well as just get down in those sort of nested objects, which isn't something that you can say about all databases. And you know, a lot of times as as junior developers, which is when I've been introduced to MongoDB, you're going to be building um, it pr introduced professionally, you're going to be building a lot of CRUD applications where you, you know the company has various aspects of their business, and you need to be able to maybe manage items, for instance. Maybe you need to manage users. These are things that I personally have built CRUD applications for and have uh, found it to be very useful there. And that's a, a low traffic scenario, so I don't want to paint it as a database that. Um, can't handle large volumes of traffic because it clearly can. It's been exploding in popularity. There, there's a reason for that is because of its various benefits. But in terms of what I've done professionally, it's been back office tools in it. But we have used it for um, at other companies I've worked at for their main website with e-commerce e platforms where uh, we're getting you know 10,000 users a day plus. Um, you know, peak days, 100,000, you know, when you have some big announcements that's going out there. So you can do quite a bit with it, which is 
really nice. Um, so MongoDB, uh, what, another another sort of great thing of how I got started with MongoDB um, was I actually uh, went and did their university program. So they have something called, uh, I, I don't know if it's still called university, but they have like MongoDB University where it's sort of their... Um, it reminds me of an application I had I built at an old workplace with like training videos. It's sort of the same concept where they have various training programs that you can go through. They're sort of like courses, and uh, you can they, there's various ones depending on what level you're at. If you're an entry level, very beginner, intermediate, advanced, you want a specific niche. It spans a whole wide range of things. Um, which allowed me to get up and running in my personal projects and those personal projects allowed me to get up and running in my professional projects and uh, sort of a cool little fun fact is I start a new job in exactly a week and part of the reason I took that role over a, another role that was offered was that I'll be doing full stack jobs with MongoDB and that's that to me is like the dream. The dream is to do full stack JavaScript and um, be able to hand and manage and manipulate the data and just have a you know it's it's always fun to specialize in like certain niches like front end or back end or mobile but like for me particularly at this point in my career what I want to do is just own the entire application not say I don't want to work on a team but I want to be able to manage the database create the database I want to be able to create the services with it I want to be able to do the front end and just be able to tackle the entire project and provide input and um, MongoDB was one of the reasons I, I took that role because I've worked with it in the past and I have I know what it's like to work with it, um, which is like, there's always this, oh, it wouldn't be great to work in this technology. And then you go and work in it and you're like, whew, I might have, I might have should have played around with this before I made this decision, right? Um, like uh, blockchain, for instance, was something I was very interested in. I did like a little course on it. And I was like, it's kind of boring. <laughs> so, um, any, anyhow, it's a, a story for another time. But yeah, so I, I, um, I've i always really been a fan. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, it's one of the reasons I decided to go to the company that I, I went to um, because I, I want to work with that technology. And it just seems to be growing as well, which is nice. As a developer, you always want to be working with like sort of the latest and the greatest, and you want to um, continue growing those skills. And you know, one way you keep your income up and you keep your relevant skills so that if you do get laid off, like, like which happened to me is that you can get rehired in two weeks because you're you're studying the latest things you're working with the latest things so anyhow um that's my that's a, my, a little bit about my mongodb history again thank you to mongodb for sponsoring them if you're ever interested in getting up and going with mongodb i highly recommend it you can it's it's free as you're learning and and for um you know certain project requirements all that sort of stuff but uh, you shouldn't have any problem with that. Uh, if you want to find out more detail and check out the database and get some documentation, you can go to mongodb.com. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 Algorithm Challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.